guys uh, welcome back I drew this one in a previous video I will link it in the end screen and I'm drawing on my distress uh, papers I have a tutorial on this I'll link it all around the in the little card and end screen wherever I can so if you want to learn how to do this it's on my Etsy so um, this cute little one is ticky tacky and today we're going to draw a pattern that is so so cute it's um, one of my Facebook friends I hope I say her name right let me get my pens out is it Smita Smita um, I hope you see this hi we're Facebook friends so this is her pattern and it is wonderful so I really really liked it when I saw it so let's get started here you could do a perfectly straight line but I wanted to kind of resemble for this tile something like they're standing on a ground or grass or something like that. So that's why I'm doing it like this. And then you would draw another line here. Actually, maybe I'm going to have to remove some of my... I was showing off, showing my distress uh, papers. but. I don't want to mark them up so I'm just going to kind of take the line like this ah. you should have like a line another line here but for my drawing I want I wanted it at the very tippy not tippy top the very very bottom so okay there's sort of a line so you know you do two lines here and then after that all you do is just kind of take it and go like this you know you leave some space and then you repeat that line again like that I hope I do your tango justice Because I'm using it, you know, for this. Okay, after that, all you do is you go like this. From here to here. So from this to this corner, you just draw a straight line. Like that. Okay, now we're going to just draw some lines like this. And fill up this little area here and then we're going to start over on this corner like this and fill up this area And then we're going to repeat and start over in the corner right here. Turn it. Do this again. And you're going to just keep doing that all along until you finish all the way across. And that's it. And uh, right after I finish this up, I'll be right back and we'll get started on some shading. Okay, now it's time to do some shading. I'm going to start over here in this section. So you just add some HB pencil along here like this. And then over on this side. And then take your blending stump. I haven't um, drawn at the coffee shop in a while because my son is out of school and we just tend not to go when he's, we go, my husband and I usually go kind of like alone, you know. Sometimes we take him, but not very often. So anyways, I don't know where my doodle sticks are and it's sad, but 
Let me think. I might take and just draw, I mean, shade a little bit right there, too. Just to darken that up a little. Yeah. And that's how you do it. And then you do it for everyone going across. So I will um, do that and be right back. Here it is all finished. I will finish this centangle up completely probably in the next drawing video that I make. So please subscribe if you haven't done so and hit that bell next to the subscription button so that you can get notified of my uploads. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.